Hey guys, it has been a bit since we've talked. I think it's been about like a few months or something. Um, and in that time, I have been doing a lot. Uh, number one, I was moving, so that's why it's kind of difficult to have a camera out and things like that. But um, I'm settled now and I want to start making videos again, of course, and informing you guys and teaching you guys about animal care and um, all the different things that have happened from my last video till now. Um, I mean, there's been so many things, but in this vlog, I'm going to tell you about everything and show you everything, of course. So, yeah. Number one thing I want to talk about is where are all the animals at and everything like that. Um, so I'm going to get to that, but before that, I'm going to tell you something that this house that I'm staying in it currently is not permanent. As some of you may know, the market is insane right now. So um, I'm staying here until I find something that I really want. Um, so yeah, so the animals are kind of in temporary um, housing and things like that, except for the geckos, the chickens, and the goats, which is a little bit of a surprise, but I can't wait to show you them. Um, but yeah, so I'm staying here temporarily, but the guinea pigs are in a smaller enclosure than what they're normally in. They're normally in something two times the size, but I actually couldn't fit it through any of the doors here, or um, I couldn't fit it through anything. It wouldn't fit anywhere, their normal enclosure. So I had to go down to a Midwest size, but they get plenty of free time, and I will show you what I'm talking about. The cage that I'm showing you right now is a bit bigger than the Midwest. It's the biggest thing I could find that wasn't a CNC cage, of course. Um, normally they are in a 2x4 CNC cage with a 2x2 loft. And yeah, so if you're new here, I have three guinea pigs. One male, Oliver, to two females, Bella and Daisy. An update on the geckos is that they are doing completely fine and that they're in their normal enclosures. Nothing is different for them. Um, I'll show you if I could see. Okay, there it goes. Um, but this is just mega. As you can see, my little plant, I literally was so proud of it for so long because it was going so strong. It's a, um, a it's, okay, it's an okay plant to be in the gecko tank. I did plenty of research on that. I don't know if you can see, but mega is in that little rock hide, which is also her water bowl. Love that hide. Um, but yeah. Her tank is always spotless. She's the cleanest of the geckos. So there is Mega. And here is Zilla. As you can see, I'm gonna open these up for you guys so you can see everything. But as you can see, she needs a little bit of a cleanup. Um, she goes on her hammock, which isn't the best, but I do have to, I do have to clean it a lot. Um, she might be, yeah, she's in there. I don't want to open that. But, um, yeah, same setup. Um, there's a little bit different in that I have paper towels. Well, actually, I've been having paper towels for a while on Mega, but Zilla um, is now on paper towels. She was on um, Eco Earth, or sorry, the coconut fiber stuff. I, can't, I think it's Eco Earth um, for a while. But, and then I just have some vines here. Um, nothing has really changed. And yeah, that. Before we get into showing you guys my goats, I wanted to talk about why I have goats, why I got goats, um, and all the little things like that. So um, I got goats because I had the opportunity to, um, which isn't always the best. <laughs> like if you have an opportunity to get an animal, don't just get the animal. That's a really bad thing to say, but like it's true. Um, I actually. I have always wanted to show goats. I'm still at an age where I can, so I decided I'm going to show goats. Um, I've shown goats in the past, not my personal goats, but friends' goats, and um, I really love it. So I have decided that I'm going to show goats this year. Um, they're really good goats. You'll see that in the next clip. Um, they're super sweet. I know exactly how to take care of them, and I'm super educated on their care. Obviously, there's always learning with getting a new animal. But um, if that was anybody's concern, yeah, they're perfectly healthy. I know how to care for goats. And I've talked to so many people in my area who are experts on goats. And I've been doing this for 40, 50 years. So, yeah, I'm just going to say that. Um, always do your research before getting a new animal. And make sure it fits into your schedule and your life. So, yeah, I just want a quick disclaimer and tell you why I got goats. 
But yeah, you'll see what I mean by show goats. They're not like cute little pygmy goats, they're boar goats. Um, so yeah, let's see them. Alright guys, now let's meet the goats. Um, if you hear for some whining in the background, that's because she likes to uh, come sniff the goats and lick them, but I'm not letting her do that today because it's super distracting for you guys and um, I want to film them. Um, they're a little startled by her sometimes, but let's see them. So um, eventually I will do like a little barn tour of like what the barn looks like. Um, you know, like they're, they're set up in their yard and all the things like that. Yeah, it's super loud. Okay, let's meet them. Okay, are you guys ready? Hope you are. So, my goats' names are Nova and Delilah, and I'm gonna show you them right now. <laughs> Alrighty, this is Nova, and this is Delilah. And she's always dirty, by the way, so, um, yeah, but, um, yeah, so Delilah, I would say, has the personality of, like, she's, like, the sweetest. Um, and then we have Nova. Oh, my gosh, is it raining? It's raining. And um, Nova's more stubborn, but she's still a very sweet goat. And, yeah, those are the girls. And as I mentioned before, I will be showing them, but... Sorry, it's raining, and so the, the dog's upset and the goats are upset. But um, as I mentioned before, I will be showing them, but uh, most people show their goats for meat, and I just can't do it. <laughs> so I just can't, I just can't kill my goats. I just can't do it. So instead, um, I'm going to be taking them to um, jackpot shows, also called pro prospect shows, and that's basically where you get your buckles and your ribbons and things like that for showmanship. Um, and that's what I will be doing because I love these goats already too much to um, kill them <laughs> for meat. Even though you do win a lot of money, it's just not worth it to me. So, um, can't, I can't wait for you guys to follow along my journey in showing. And it's raining. And I can't wait to um, show you guys the barn tour and all their different tack and things like that. No, they're not horses. I like to call it tack because... I think it's the same thing. It's the same thing, right? I think it's the same thing. Anyway, I'll see you guys with the chickens. I'm in the chicken coop and I wanted to show you their enclosures um, really fast because as you can hear, it's raining and it's going to start pouring at any second. Um, Texas. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yeah, we've got a rooster and he's trying crowing for the first time, so that's what you just heard. Um, but also we've had some new additions. Okay, it's, it's not raining too bad actually. So. Um, this is what their coop currently looks like. It's the same thing. Um, it's a 10 by 10. It's the same thing we had. They got a new bowl. Um, but yeah, you'll you'll see more of the, the chickens that you've seen before. She's laying on a bunch of eggs. Probably gonna take them away from her very soon. Hurley's out here. You guys know Hurley. He's our rooster um, to our main coop. And so here are the main coop. Um, and then here, the the game birds are in the same um, five by ten setup that they were before. Um, we have a lot of small chickens in here, which is, you know, how that works with game birds. Um, as you can see, they're all kind of up because it's raining, and they do not want to get rained on. Um, but yeah, we've got some newer breeds in here that I can't wait to show you guys. As you can see, he's trying to crow, um, and he's learning to crow, and all of them. It looks dirty on the bottom because I repeat, all of them are thing at the same time. All the game birds. So show season is going to be a bit rough this year, but yeah. Um, the, I'll do a quick overview real quick. But yeah, here's what it looks like. They also have a electric fence going all the way around. I think I showed that in my last video. I'm not sure. No, I didn't. I don't think I did. I think I showed that on my Instagram story. Also, I wanted to show you guys Priscilla. All right, guys. So I know this video is pretty short, um, but I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed a little update of where I've been and everything like that. 
Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And let me know in the comments what you want to see first. Barn tour, guinea pig cage tour, even though you kind of saw it. I don't know, um, gecko tank tour, or any type of animal advice or care videos, anything like that. Let me know what you want to see first down below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.